Okay, so now we're ready to test to see how good our forecast is. If you watched the last clip, I've changed this value because I had it in incorrectly from this example. Now, to tell how good our forecast is, we first need to compute our forecast error. And that's done simply by subtracting the forecast from the actual demand. Just simply going to type in equals demand minus forecast. And that's the error. I'm going to click on this box and copy this formula down by going to the bottom right hand corner, clicking on the black box, and then dragging it down to copy the formula and it automatically copies the formula down for you. Next, we need the absolute value of the error. In Excel, to find the absolute value, you push equals, type ABS, open the parenthesis, click on the value you want to find the positive of, close it, push enter. And now we're going to drag this formula down as well. Going to the corner, clicking and dragging the formula down. And you can see where the, where the numbers were negative, they've turned positive. And where they were positive, they stayed the same. So it's merely the absolute value function. Next, we need the square of the error. This one, we type equals, click on the error cell, use shift 6 to put in the hat symbol. It looks like an upside down V. And then type 2. And that's going to square that cell. That's how Excel reads that. Enter. And 3 squared, of course, is 9. So it looks like it's working. Again, drag the formula down. And it automatically squares all of these error terms for us. So, the next step, I mean, it's kind of, you can see what's going on maybe, how good our forecast is, but to really tell we need to compute the MSE, the MAD, and the TS. To compute the MSE, the mean squared error, it simply equals average, open the parenthesis, and you average all of the squared errors up that you've just calculated. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And that is the mean squared error. Very simple. It works the same way for the MAD, the mean absolute deviation. Type equals, average, open the parenthesis, select the absolute values, close the parenthesis, and hit enter. Now the tracking, si the tracking signal is a little bit trickier. You need to sum the error terms and divide by the MAD. So we simply type equals and type sum, open the parenthesis, and sum the raw errors, the ones with the negatives in them. Make sure you don't use the absolute value, it's just the raw errors. Sum those up, close the parenthesis, and now we need to divide by the MAD, which is in cell H2. Now because I can't select it here, I'm going to have to type in H2, but it automatically knows that I'm using s ro uh, column H, row 2. And this will compute the TS for us. And there it is. And now we're done. The next step is we're going to optimize this to find the best alpha.